before we start working on our project there is one important thing that I would like to explain to you guys and that's the bootstrap grid system if you need a detailed information just come to bootstrap website put gitbootstrap.com and come up here like the CSS down here and then here on the right click on the grid system and it brings you here you can read read the entire document uh, about the bootstrap about bootstrap grid system and it's, it explains pretty much everything what the bootstrap uh, grid system is uh, but since you know it's uh, we can't go through everything here but I just quickly uh, do a demo of uh, how the bootstrap grid system works so let's go to our code editor the bootstrap grid system is made up of rows and columns each screen can take up to 12 columns to show you guys what I mean by rows and columns let me write down a few line of code so let's good get rid of this button we don't need it anymore let's start with div with a class of container I will explain to you guys what this container means for now let's move on and I'll come back to it let's create another div inside of our container with a class of row and then let's create another class another div this is where we put our columns to write columns we start with col that stands for column dash and then we have our breakpoints for each device if you want your columns that you're writing is for a larger device so like uh, desktop and laptop you put LG which stands for large if you're writing this column for a medium device like tablet like iPad and other tablets you use MD which stands for medium but if you're writing your column for small devices like iPhone or Android phones you use SM which stands for small and then you give another dash and then you write the number of your columns like how many columns you want so I'll just put LG and dash and I'll put three columns so inside of this whatever you create all the other containers that you create it will come like on a stack it will be a it will come one on top of another so I'll just create a div with a class of box and we will give it a design so to just uh, see give you guys a clear picture of rows and columns I'll style the row and the box that we have we just created I'll just give the row a background color of black and then I'll give the box a height of 200 pixel and a background color of orange so let's refresh the page uh, here we go so this black color that you see this is our row it takes up to 12 columns like for this one we gave it th three columns if we give this six columns it will take half of the page or if we create another column it will come next to this one until it completes the 12 columns so let's give this six columns you guys see this this uh, orange color it will take half of the page give it six columns refresh the page so you see now it takes half of the screen so let's put it back to three and as I said I will uh, explain to you guys what this container means container is this wrapper that holds your rows and your columns so if you use the class container by default it will have paddings on both sides of the row 
so it will not take the full width of the screen but if you give it give it the class of container fluid it will take the entire width of the screen let's refresh it so now you see our row is taking the entire width of our screen i hope you guys understood what the bootstrap grid system is let's move to the next step and we are going to start building our project